In this video I'm going to show you how you can make black and white halftones in Procreate. How you can create simple halftones with different percentages. How to create gradient halftones. And why you should use masks for your halftones. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch artist. And I've made another video about uh, doing halftones for comics, but after uh, drawing a lot of comics and using a lot of uh, halftones in my comic Quap and the Frigidaire I'm working on at the moment, I found a better way to use the halftones. So let's get started. For making this comic Quap and the Frigidaire, I've made a basic setup. The canvas is 420 millimeters width and 135 millimeters height at 600 dpi. The default canvas has a layer for the border, a layer for the inks, a layer for the halftones and a sketch layer. I used the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with one terabyte. I bought it because then you can work in larger canvas sizes. I have 55 layers to work with. If you have another iPad, you have fewer layers to work with. What you can do is set the DPI to 300 DPI. Then you're still on the safe side for printing. Preparing Halftone. I imported the last panel of the Tom Poole's Daily Comic from 1986 as reference. The story Quap and the Frigidaire is an homage to the comic strip of Martin Toner, the creator of Tom Poos. In order to create the halftone dots at the right size, I experimented with grey values and the halftone filter in Procreate. I used the halftone of the Tom Poos comic as reference. For the halftone I created a default dot grid at 21%. In order to use halftones, tap on Adjustments and then tap on Halftone. Below you see three options. I used Screen Print and set the percentage to 21% to match with the original. Masking Halftones. Then I created a mask for the halftone. When you paint with black, you will mask out the halftones. When you paint with white, the halftones will show. I made this default template for my comic strip because I wanted the halftones to be consistent in all of the comics. When you create the halftones, there is a range between the percentages. To have this template, I can just concentrate on the sketching and inking and making the halftones. When I have finished the inks, I can then make the halftones using the mask. When you paint with white, the halftones will be visible. You can try several options. Using the mask, the halftone will stay intact. Replacing halftones. If you're not satisfied with the halftone, you can replace it. After some proofs, I found out that the dots were too close together. So I made a new halftone with a lighter gray. I did that on a new layer. I copied the new halftone. Then I selected the old halftone layer, cleared the layer by pressing on clear, and then pasted in the new halftone. This will save you a lot of work because the mask will still work. Gradient halftones. You can also make gradient halftones using the same principles. I create a new layer and make a selection with the selection tool. I choose rectangle to select the whole panel and use color drop to fill the selection with 100% black. Then I leave the selection on and choose the soft brush in the airbrush brush set. I select 100% white and create the gradient I want. Then I go to Adjustments and select Halftone and Screen Print. This will keep the gradient in 45 degrees. I increase the slider to 21%. Then I make a mask of the gradient halftone and paint in the section I want. 
you can make a lot of variations in your gradient halftones. You can get some surprising effects, especially when you combine it with some cross hatching in your inks. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I can also make a video about using halftones to do a color separation the old fashioned way. But if you want me to do that, just let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.